Oh. All right. So this is Bad Rabbits. I want to congratulate you guys on an awesome show. You know what's awesome when you get a bunch of dinner time and just some power suits to get up and actually dance? They always just there. This is props to you guys. They can up and dance. Now, I know you guys have a lot of diversity behind you from India, Argentina, Ghana. How does that play into your music? Does you have a lot of influence there? Um, I mean, we're all, most of us, well, two of us, well, three of us are first generation. Um, Speak up. Two of us are first generation Americans. Um, so yeah, Saudi son is actually able to get a citizenship. I mean, he just got a citizenship. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, <laughs> but no, um, we all, like, our, our ethnic backgrounds do have a, have a not a say, but like, just have an influence on uh, music and backgrounds. Uh, we all come from like, hardcore punk and rock bands before we actually started this band. So um, you can see some of that. Uh, and, um, our, our style. Graham came from uh, like a style pop background. Ron Sonny came from a uh, jam band background. So just throw everything in there. So, like, you know, it's, it's not even that it's our ethnicities, but our musical backgrounds, our musical backgrounds have, a, have a, good, a good say in what we do and how we play. So a lot of critics in the field have trouble defining what exactly the sound is like. Some say it's a lot of fun, some say it's a lot of indie pop, rock. So how would you say that you best define your style? It's music, it's music, it's music, it's music. It's dance music for people who like to dance, uh, you know, punk music for people who think it's punk, punk music for people who think it's punk, you know, it's whatever you want to define it as, it's just a multicultural band doing multicultural stuff. Post R&B. Post R&B. Wow. Teddy Riley in there. A lot of bands don't go for that, you know, the R&B feeling, a lot of them now, you know, grab people's alternative body and things. So what do you have to say to people who are wondering, you know, why is your band so unique? What are you trying to do with, you know, diversify yourself in that music industry? I think a lot of bands actually aren't trying to do, like, R&B stuff. It sounds very cool. And, uh, I don't know, a lot of pop rock bands are kind of using the R&B now you had a, you put a new song today. I'm pretty sure you said it was called uh, Rock. Now that song sounds like it has a lot of rock influence and rock and it was hardcore. Why is that? What was the process of getting that song off the ground? Just want to try a different style, just dance music. A good friend of ours who uh, produced our uh, album that's coming out soon, uh, B. Lewis. He has a really unique, like, he's a good, he's a dope producer. Yeah. Yeah. I call him like a super space soul yeah. producer. And he just has like all these weird sounds. And it started off, when he gave the song to us, it started off like with an R&B vibe. And when we, when we got it, we just had to put something heavy on it. So that was the first thing, you know, grind the guitar, and just be screaming. It just sounds good. I don't think we really thought about making it like a heavy rock song. We just wanted to make it a bass door. I don't know. I can't even describe it. Nah, I mean, I think that song in particular, yeah, we've always really had the underlying rock background as one of us. Growing up, I mean, our cover songs were kind of originally meant to showcase our different styles. We did a special cover of songs like Deftone Song. Plays into all our backgrounds musically, so I think that's so but um, I think it's like I said, it's kind of just a show. We've always had that like under my, I guess, rock influence. And that was kind of our opportunity to kind of out there. Because the Stick Up Kid record, we deliberately wanted to make it more traditional, not so traditional, but more 90s pop art. And this one, we kind of wanted to make the record more pop and musical and showcase more. Do some of the things you changed over from your version of the collective and then you had some infrastructure to some of the things you wanted We just focused on some of them. We set the bass down to like five, 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 six times. We were at CD 12, I think. That was a thing from 10 to 12. That was a thing about the collective. So just breaking down the melodies, just cut down. Just focusing on the bass and the bass. Made the sound work. Obviously. It's still it's still pretty diverse. But, uh, it used to be old It was hard to like fit into any show. A lot of viewers on their way out, they had a question. They said, what's a hood rat? I said, I'm fine. I'm a hood rat. It's very good. Just use the tiny missionary. 
Yeah. 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 With a hilarious name. With a hilarious name. He's had no respect for himself or the dude. Um, in a sense of bitterness. How did Boogie? How did Boogie go last song? Uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess not that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? What's the hood? Yep, Irving Nextario is a stank ass home. That's what most men in the hood. A girl up with a rep. A hook. A theme park. What a ride of that bitch. Everyone's had a ride of that bitch. What? That's a crazy bitch. That's what a hood rat is. Don't be a hood rat. Yeah, don't be a hood rat. Don't be one of them chicks. I mean, you can. That's your life. That's your family. You shame it. Hey, you have two blocks. And then you have one. Back among American dreams. Tell us if you got those two. Um... American Love is coming out very soon. American Dream is coming out in about the week. Yeah, um... We, have, we just have two albums that we're working on. We're trying to get them out as fast as we can. And, uh, yeah. I guess in short, I guess to seriously answer the question, American Love, I should say, is going to be coming out at some point early next year. We're working on the plans. The record's finished. But we have to actually find a lot. Basically, the difference between the two records is very really undeveloped in terms of our style and sound. We stick up kids to American Dream, so I was kind of the like gap to the bridge, the two. So essentially, once we kind of build up to American Dream, whether it's one year or two years, we just have to make that progression. <laughs> And is this for you guys being a collective band of what this is to do well? Is that the American Dream for you? Yeah, essentially. Alright, I want to thank you guys for coming out again. Great show. Thank you so Thanks, man. Come thank back soon. I hope we can see you in Philly. They're playing in Philadelphia. Yes, sir. Woo! Yeah. 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 Don't be a hood rat. Don't be a hood rat. Uh oh, I think the picture's coming.